just in case you want to know how it was going on Twitter. <laughs> it's not going great. It is not. Today, Elon Musk decided that they were going to shut off the bloatware on the uh, the, the Twitter uh, infrastructure. Now, some of you out there may understand the term bloatware refers to... No, I mean, to me, a bloat is a is a group of hippos because that is the multiple term for hippos. What bloatware is, is if you got buy a laptop and it's got all this pre-installed crap on it, that's bloatware. That, that doesn't need to be there. The Dell shit, that doesn't need to be there. Okay. It has nothing whatsoever. So, yeah, I have lots of that. It has nothing whatsoever to do with the website infrastructure. And yet that was the term he used. He said, we only need 20% of this. So apparently they started shutting off flipping switches. And uh, one of those switches was the uh, two-factor authentication, which means if you logged out of the website, you could not log back into Twitter because it would not do the code. So going great. he, he's laid off like whole teams that it turns out you really need for things. Oh, yes. Yes, he's been doing that. Yes. And then, you know, his verification things worked out great because <laughs> my favorite of those is the person that made a Eli Lilly account and was like, guess what? Insulin's free now. And then the official Eli Lilly account had to be like, no, that's not true. And everyone was like, why not? And then their stock went. Pew! Yep. They they lost like uh twenty dollars off their stock. It As was, they fucking should. Apparently, behind the scenes, people at Eli Lilly were panicking. <laughs> you fucking the person who created the person who invented like synthetic insulin did not patent it, gave the pat or rather gave the patent away for free, specifically so that people would yeah. not be bankrupted by this thing they need to live. Yeah. So it's 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 been going great. It's been just going great. <laughs> and I just every now and then I just want to check in with all the Twitter bros who are like, no, he's like the real life Tony Stark. How's that going? Is that working out? They're still a lot like, no, no, he's brilliant. You'll see. No, he's a genius. They're at the you have to give him a chance stage. Which means that eventually we're going to proceed to it's your fault because you didn't give him a chance. Hmm. Which is you didn't steal and give him eight dollars. Yeah. This multi billionaire needs your eight dollars. <laughs> Do you know today that they're all he's offering stock in the company again as incentive to do the like really? You're offering stock in a company that you Pay, overpaid for, saddled with crippling debt. Count your offer. Here's a handful of dog shit. Yeah, at least that you can fertilize some crops with. It's got some utility. <laughs> use. Yeah. <laughs> Each week, Catherine, ready to get our audience go up worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? The yeah, we've got an interesting bit this week. All right, you were saying you read the internet, the, the YouTube comments. Yeah, um, and last week there was a comment of, um, I've been watching this show for years, who is Catherine? All right, Catherine is a friend of ours who we know from our uh, our vampire LARP days. She is uh, very diligent in, in addition to all of you out there who send us in stories. She also has, to, in fact, she started this whole thing by going out. She's like the OG. Yeah, she, she went she, out and... She went out and find, uh, found these horrible things and started bringing them to me, and she started this. Like, you know, and that, that, that's who she is. So we would not be here without Catherine, and that's why she's good. All right, so let's, uh, let's start with the fucking round. Of, I, I love this this week. We've been seeing a lot of reports in the news about cops lately getting like, busted for their, their corruption and whatnot, you know, in trouble and shit. Not necessarily fired because this is America, but getting busted for corruption. 
I think this is probably of them all. This is the saddest one. This, this is this is sad in so many ways. Oh my god. Uh, let's get the uh, screen over here. So many pop-ups. Former Joko deputy loses police license after fraudulently trying to buy Pokemon cards. Oh, honey. <laughs> just before we get into the story, you want to know what's 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 just fucked up? I don't know if I mentioned this yet. Um. I've been having like a Sopranos we watch in the background while I've been working on my computer and stuff. Grady, get down. Grady. When Grady gets on the imp again, hurrah, hurrah. Grady. Who's Grady? Get, Who, who's, who's Grady? Grady, get down. Grady, get what? down. Oh, no. He's like, you know, people only watch this show for me, right? Grady, get down. I'm the main fucking character, dude. Anyway, I've been watching The Sopranos in the background while I've been working on stuff. And um, they, they get to a moment where uh, Chris uh, is talking about, yo, we're going to never get that heist tonight, them Pokemon cards. And I'm like, wow, that was 20 years ago. And they're still, Wait, yeah. They did a Pokemon heist on The Sopranos? They did. I'm not looking it up. It, I, fucking yeah. Them Pokemon cards. Okay. There's Pussy Bump and Saro and 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 uh and Chris Moltisante. <laughs> I think it was like season three. Yeah, it was season three. Anyway, uh so a Johnson County deputy lost his Kansas police license after he tried to fraudulently purchase Pokemon cards. William C. Knight was, caught, was charged with one count of an unlawful act involving a theft uh, detection shielding device, a felony. Um, on May 13th, Knight was in uniform and shopping at a retail store, went to a self-checkout with several Pokemon card sets and groceries. Security guard became suspicious and approached Knight, who said he had to leave on a call. He was later identified and remitted he removed barcodes from inexpensive items he had at home and fraudulently placed them on the Pokemon cards to buy them at a lower cost. The card's retail value was about $394. That's How a lot. Why? How many boxes of the fuckers? Jesus. Does anyone out there know, anyone on the channel, how much is a box of uh, the Pokemon cards? How much for the Pokemans? Yeah, how much do those run? Just to have an idea of how many he was trying to buy. I love that, like, the, the guard came over, like, sir, he's like, oh, I've, I've got to go. I need to do police things. See ya. Oh, that's... gosh, sorry. I, I think I hear my captain calling me. Sonic Gav says that's three boxes. No, it's not. Shut up. No, that is not three boxes. Bullshit, that's not three boxes. Children have these. Booster boxes for Magic the Gathering retail for $119. I figure Pokemon's about the same. These are little pieces of cardboard, right? I know. Fuck. They're not printed with, like, gold leaf or anything? Like, I understand scarcity and collectors don't at me. But. Not only. All right. Not only are you losing your job over Pokemon cards. You were doing it the cheap. You weren't like boosting a Pokemon card truck. You weren't like going behind, like doing like illicit Pokemon card deals. You were doing the, the, the cheap way. The, the You were pulling a barcode off a pack of Ding Dongs. <laughs> and switching it. The busted up ratchet way. Let, you know what's sad? What? This is Kansas, right? This guy yeah. lost his police license. Yeah. Over Pokemon cards. Over Pokemon. How many cops in this country do not lose their police license over fucking killing somebody? Right. Well, you know, you don't don't Man. don't fuck with Nintendo. You'll disappear. 
Yeah. That, that's that that's a bit like fucking with the ma- mafia. You, you'll cease to be. Oh, okay. So <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right. And case in point, right underneath, there is related stories. Kansas deputy used a taser on a handcuffed child. He still has his police license. Well, yeah, he didn't steal any Pokemon cards. That's right. Don't fuck with the capital. Bad. Well, you, yeah, you fuck with the capitalism. That's a different issue entirely. <sighs> All right, we're heading to we're heading to Walmart next, and it's Ohio, and it's Walmart, and this is one of the most Walmart things that could have possibly. I, we have all been in a Walmart and experienced that secondhand cringe, right? Because there is always there's there's there have been incidents when you've been in the Walmart and someone has been doing something, and it's one of those things you're like, oh, honey, why? I avoid Walmart when I can because it gives me anxiety. This I think is, I've said this before. I walk into Walmart and I feel like I'm walking into that warehouse from End of the Rate Raiders of the Lost Ark. Well, this, it's just too big and full of stuff, and I ooh, this ooh. might justify that that inclination. Woman, cops to beat meat beating at Ohio Walmart. What is that headline? Woman cops to meat beating. They, they, they were trying to get beating your meat in there somehow. Right, but I know that cops is a verb and that yes, that is used appropriately in that sentence, but in a headline like that, yeah, it's confusing. It is. Uh, like, you have the things to write admits. An Ohio woman yesterday copped to clobbering a female acquaintance in the face with a 10-pound log of ground beef during a confrontation in the potato chip aisle of a Walmart in suburban Cleveland. Can we go back to a log of ground beef? Oh, you've never seen those? No. They're like these big old tubes. Why? Pre-wrapped ground beef. Why a tube? I don't know. It's just they 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 get the, it's like it's like a plastic <laughs> sausage. People aren't eating it like cookie dough, are they? I maybe. Cuz that's how you die. <laughs> You've never seen those? No, I've seen them in the little styrofoam package. You've never seen like the, oh, wow. Uh, you know, it's like, it's like round with a weird dip in the middle right. for some reason it's, I've never understood. It's like a, a big old plastic sausage and you, you take the plastic off and you get the ground beef out. That makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, according to police, Garner was at the Walmart in South Euclid when she encountered victim Precious Jackson, 37 who was shopping with her seven-year-old daughter. Garner was accompanied by her five-year-old son. So already, your trashy asses have your kids with you. You're having two main fights in front of the kids? Jackson, who had lived downstairs from Garner in a University Heights duplex, had previously secured secured a protection order against her ex-neighbor. Cop said that when Garner, seeing it right, confronted Jackson in the Walmart potato chip aisle, she threatened to beat up Jackson and her daughter. And I want to point out her daughter is seven. Ma'am. Garner then allegedly pulled down Jackson's face mask and attempted to spit on her. When the spit missed the target, Garner reached into Jackson's cart and removed the $22 meat log. Not Cop- sure why the price is important. Cops described the tube of ground beef as a, quote, blunt object. Uh, Garner, investigators charge, struck Jackson a couple of times in the face with a 10-pound log of prepackaged ground beef. Was it, like, frozen? No, it's, 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 it's just refrigerated. Jackson was not injured by the meat blows. That, who, really? Yeah. In front of the kids. You got the five-year-old here, the seven-year-old here. I just... Who threatens to beat up a seven-year-old? Like, Listen, I know the phrase is got beef, but <laughs> that's got, not literal. No, it's got milk. It's, uh... Is it got no, milk? No, it's like I got beef with someone. Oh, you got a beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's not, not literal. It's not literal. 
Ah. I I just I. <sighs> why? First of all, why are you trying to beat up a seven year old? You fucking nut job. Right. Like you're kind of just sort of giving the the police like, yeah, this is why you had the restraining order. We can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Also, probably I'm willing to bet that is is can anyone who's not in the U.S. in the channel right now like say is the meat log thing just a U.S. thing? I mean, it's not even. I've never seen it. You've never seen. Wow. Like it's certainly not in the Northeast United States. To be fair, I Instacart my groceries now, so I don't know if they have those in Colorado. I have someone bring my groceries to my front step for me. All right, so let's continue along with fucking around and find. No, it's very German. Okay, we have it in Southern Ontario. Okay, so it is a thing. Okay. Have it in Canada. Have it in the UK. Yeah. All so right. The meat tubes are a thing. They are. Let's continue on with our uh, our 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 fucking around and finding out. Um. From the department of you're not that special, buddy. They have it in New Hampshire. Well, okay. Irate Florida man intentionally hits a man with his Porsche after argument. He's okay. And when you find out why, it's for one thing. Look at this guy. Excuse me. That's that's not that's not a mugshot of someone who is comprehending. He just struck someone with his car. All right. Um, oh, look at it. He look. You know who he looks like? He looks like the grandpa from King of the Hill. It's fucking cotton, bitty <laughs> man. All right. Um, a Florida man is accused of striking a traffic control worker with his Porsche Cayenne. <laughs> those, those like, like what the P? That's like the Porsche PT Cruiser, the Porsche Cayenne. Have you ever seen those? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, after the two got into an argument over where he should go with his vehicle. I already say the worker who works for a private company in charge of repaving the roadway was directing one-way traffic through the Palm Coast area. Uh, when he noticed the driver of a black Porsche, later identified as 76-year-old Donald Allen Steimel, uh, enter the single lane of travel when it was not his turn. He tried to stop Steimel to prevent a head-on collision because that's what they do. They have one guy at one end that says stop yep. and the other side says go. And they do this because the road only has one lane open. And if they had, if people went at the same time, bang, dead. So, so when they tell you to stop, it's, um, the victim tried to stop Steinle to prevent a head on collision. Um, but Steinle reportedly became quote, irate and yelled at the victim before revving the engine and lunging forward, hitting the victim in the legs. The worker was hit. Deputies say he moved out of the way, and the driver continued on to Granada Drive. The worker, who was not seriously hurt in the incident, was able to capture a picture of the vehicle's license plate. Help lead deputies to Steinle, who's arrested his home about 90 minutes after the incident on a charge of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. Here's my question. Even if you're the kind of five-alarm asshole mm -hmm. that would rather hit somebody with your car than wait for the traffic yep. to be in your direction. It's that the, in my experience, that kind of asshole isn't looking to fuck up his Porsche. And yet. Next up, moving on along. Um, Pennsylvania. This is definitely fucking around and finding out. Have you ever had anything repossessed? No, I haven't either. But this this is one of those things where you know, it's it's irritate, it's upsetting when when these people who are empowered to come by and just take your stuff and leave. Yeah. The thing is, they're allowed to do that. You're not allowed to do it back. Also, I imagine that has to be like one of the worst jobs ever. Yeah, repo man. Uh. Man arrested after taking back car from McKeesport Repossession Company. Yeah, I can't, can't, can't do that. So that's, that's a one-way thing. Yeah, man has been arrested after trying to take back his repossessed car in McKeesport 
Friday afternoon. Vermont Tyrone Dallas, 25, of Wilkinsburg, is being charged with criminal theft, trespassing, assault, resisting arrest, and several other charges. Police at American Recovery say a man climbed the fence to get on the property and take back the car. After on the property, they say he got into the car and pulled out an employee who was trying to put it in the garage. Tony Pierce says the man, quote, threw me on the ground when I was trying to keep him from taking his car. I was trying to put his car in the garage so we couldn't take it. Police said the man drove off and was later caught by police. Video of the arrest was cut outside Founders Hall Middle School. In the video, police cruisers surround the man in the repossessed car. He then tries to run up the school's hill with police chasing him. They eventually caught up with him and put, took him into custody. So, what if was... I like make a deal with God, <laughs> I'd get him to swap our places. I'd be running up that room, <laughs> running up that hill with my car. What was the fucking plan? Look, I don't know how, if you know this, but when your car is repossessed, it is no longer yours. Yeah. It belongs to the repossession company and the company who hired them. It's not your property anymore. So if you take it, that's Grand Theft Auto. Also, they can find you, like, they found you to take the car. They can find you to take it again. I, th did he think, if I'm just quick enough, it'll be mine again? Possession, two tenths, uh, nine tenths, whatever. It's mine. Yeah, do it. Sherlock, I have it. <laughs> Sherlock is, you can't win, cops. I have the high ground. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure you, you can't. Your power. Pretty sure you can't re repossess the car. No, you can't. You can't no, see power days. You can't. Yeah. Did you watch the video? Yeah, I saw one it. of the employees like is behind the car trying to push against it to keep him from backing out. Girl, you don't need that job that bad. Right? right no, no job is worth that shit. Yeah, just, yeah. No, They'll, They'll take it back again. You don't need to die. I love how he got it. He's like, got okay, you've already stolen the car. They know you've stolen the car. They know. What good is running from them going to do? They quite literally know where you live. They have yeah. all your information. All of it. Yeah. And yet you're I mean, I guess in a panic, we would all make dumb decisions. Like, I might be the dumbass who jumps out of the car and runs because I'm not thinking clearly. And clearly somebody who goes to the repo lot to re-repo something doesn't have the best decision-making skills. So I can see how this happened. It's like the end of Fargo where the guy's like, no, no, no. It's kind of like, Shh, no, that's not, not going to work. But yeah, you don't get to, you don't get to backseize the repo, unfortunately. No. And like, I'm sure it's having something repossessed. We're all like the whole world is in economic trouble, except for like 10 white dudes. Yeah. I know that's that they're the reason the world's in economic trouble, but I, yeah. Unsympathetic. Yeah. But that's not the way to handle it. Oh, well, we you can't do that. We're going to head over to the UK for yet more fucking around and yet more finding out this. This motherfucker. As all I can, that, that's my lead up to this one. Oh my. Um, small dose of karma for arrogant driver who wouldn't let ambulance go past. Albert Butler, 38, was spared jail for blocking emergency workers and has been described by his neighbors as, quote, a nasty piece of work. Yesterday, journalists went to ask him why he wouldn't let the paramedic pass him despite having lights and sirens blaring but he wasn't feeling quite so confident. He answered the door of his uh, block of flats barefoot in Windermere Road, shouting, leave now. I am not happy about this. He said he didn't you want to. You know, I wasn't happy about it. The person in that fucking ambulance. He said he didn't want to comment and then stormed out of the building, taking pictures of the reporter and trying to call the police. But then, dressed in his Manchester United top and black shorts, he became flustered. And he realized he left his key inside. Oh, honey. There he is. Stuck outside. <laughs> with with the, the journalist filming his butt. Big old 
fish belly white legs out. Footage of him swerving in front of the ambulance and brake checking them. Come on, he did not. Yeah, he did. There's a video down there. I oh, see. It, just have a look. Just yeah, do it. Come on, come yeah, on. Not not just didn't get out of the way. He fucking brake checked an ambulance. That nah, won't work. Regardless, yeah, he brake checked an ambulance. And if you don't understand what we mean by brake checking, is you get in front of a car and then you keep tapping your brakes in front of them to potentially make them, you know, they have to back off or else they'll potentially hit you. Except, you know, it's an ambulance. Also, and that's a dickhead move to do to anybody. And it's dangerous, but triple that for an ambulance. A neighborhood gamer name only as Christine told Mail Online, he's a nasty piece of work, that man. He would stand across the road staring at us and waving his fist at us over nothing. One day he threw a plastic block at me. Given an order requirement of 20 rehabilitation days, 200 hours of unpaid work. Um, he's also banned from driving for three years. Can they rehab you for being an asshole? Well. Is there rehab for that now? I mean, besides just therapy? No. Uh, yeah, you, uh, yeah. Who the fuck? Okay, the reason the lights and sirens are on is because somebody's going to die. They're trying to make them not die. Yes. Yeah. So they have to go to the place quickly. Do you get this? It's not their way of being like, bet you can't get us. No. An ambulance. Fuck. All right. God knows how this guy treats other drivers who were not he, ambulances. Jesus. Like, if you've ever heard the term defensive driving and you were like, what does that mean? The opposite of this. That was aggressive driving. It's where, I mean, if you take a defensive driving class, one of the things they teach you is how to avoid these people. Because <laughs> my dad made us take that. It wasn't required to get our license, but it was required to be Pat's daughter. And uh, they tell you, like, if you encounter a drunk driver, just let them get ahead of you. And no matter how slow they're going, just stay behind them. Because then you can see them and they're unpredictable shit. I do love the guy's ass locked out. That was gorgeous. But there's this is the best fuck around and find out this whole week. Uh, this is the feel good story of the summer. It's winter now, but anyway, th th this is, you you're gonna, you're gonna love this one. Um, well, unless you're a Nazi, if you're a Nazi and you're watching this, fuck you, but you're also not yeah. going to like the story. Um, by the way, again, you don't read the YouTube comments. We legit had some people in the YouTube comments trying to be like, oh, no, Hitler costume might be okay. If. No, just like I said, do I do? Yeah. Well, no. If one guy was Hitler and everyone else was like Churchill and whatever, and they just beat you up, then it would be no, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. Don't. Do that. Well, guess what? We got a Nazi, and it's not going to be one of those. Oh, you call everyone you don't like a Nazi? No, this is an actual man sentenced to prison after road rage hate crime. Um, after black mixed martial arts artist put him in chokehold. Until deputies arrived. Amazing. A judge sentenced a man to two years in prison on Monday for harassing and sideswiping a black driver on a Florida roadway. Jordan Paxton Leahy, 29, must also spend three years on supervised release. What? Why does he got to be Irish? Me. As previously reported by the victim, a black man identified in court documents as JT was driving his girlfriend and his daughter in the car on August 8th, 2021. Authorities say another driver, Leahy, tailgated, swerved at, and collided with the victim's vehicle. Leahy, who was white, yelled the N-word at JT and his family. Um, simply put, the defendant was motivated by hate. After being arrested by law enforcement while waiting to be transported back to the uh, patrol vehicle, the defendant was asked about the incident. He responded, I just remember throwing up the Nazi salute and trying to pick a fight with some rendered ass fucking colored people, bro. That's all I remember. Here, the defendant finally sums up his motives. Lee's problem uh, was he got choked out for his trouble. Bruce reported, 
Authorities said JT followed Leahy in an attempt to take a picture of the defendant's license plate. Leahy, however, stepped out of his vehicle and escalated the confrontation. JT told his girlfriend to call the police, stepped out of the vehicle to protect his family. JT then got out of the car, intending to draw any fire away from JT's girlfriend and daughter. The two met outside Leahy's car. When they did, Leahy was the aggressor, saying something to the effect of, fuck you, N-word. Leahy then tried to strike JT with a closed fist. JT, a martial artist, slipped Leahy's blow and punched uh, Leahy twice. JT then caught Leahy in a chokehold until Leahy briefly passed out and restrained him until Pinellas County deputies arrived. So what the, the the guy is talking to the cops like man all I did was call him the n word and do like a Hitler salute man what I don't what, that's all I, that's all I did man like I just that's all I did man and you know tried to run him off the road but so, like he was being black at me right <sighs> you picked the wrong fight. JT, wherever you are, I salute you. I wish you well. Like, she ever given a chance to punch a Nazi, punch a Nazi. That's right, Shire, yes. Uh, <laughs> fucking asshole. Oh, Abstru says, cops don't like non-union types doing their jobs. Ooh. Ooh. True, though. Uh, just... Oh, wow, it gets better. After a relationship gone wrong, Jordan went to prison for stalking his ex-girlfriend. Uh, ex-girlfriend Gabriella Bolt testified that he would drive erratically to shock people. He would tail people and like to crash into their bumper or open the door and try to tap the side mirror and then close his door back up and he would come over and start bragging about it. Who the fuck does that? Psychos? Let me tell you something that the YouTube comments are not going to like, but it's statistically true. Most men, most serial killers, most mass shooters, most most men who commit large scale violent crimes, it starts with domestic violence. It starts with violence against women. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. That's usually one of your first signs. Yeah. Kind of like, you know, how, you know, if, if, if your kid's murdering the neighborhood dogs, well might end up on America's Most Wanted eventually. It's kind of the same thing. Yeah. I, I but just, a lot of these guys start off it's, attacking. It's just it's the fucking idiot. And don't say, well, just because he was using the Nazi salute doesn't mean he's an... Yes, it does. It, there's no other good reason to... And I don't want to hear it in the fucking... Co- well, you know, maybe... If you were like joking, no, no, no. Like, there's no good reason to be doing that. And you know, the people who go in all in on that are just trying to be like, well, okay, maybe if I did that at some point, it was okay, is what it's really about. On the internet, where people just any declarative statement you make, something in people's brain, a switch just flips and they have to find a way that you might be wrong. Pedantry. It's 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 a it's it's a terrible okay, disease. But something about the internet makes that so much worse. Like I could get on the internet and be like, "Pi is great," and someone will be like, "Well, actually, Pi is a, is part of the system of oppression because blah 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 blah." And yeah, you're a fucking monster for liking pie. like, yeah, pedantry. It's 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 a, it's a terrible disease. Um, the, uh, it's an internet. Really, um, the American Society for Pedantry. Uh, they, they need your donations to help help stop this this terrible. This the terrible problem is they, they can't get a PSA out because they keep arguing with each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody knows they exist because they can't, you know, get anything done. They're oh, too yeah. busy correcting each other. So, so what have we what have we learned this week? Well, we've learned that. Um, don't start nothing, won't be nothing. I do love how much the fucking white supremacists just can't handle their shit. No, just just fucking choked him out. 
I love how much the January 6 people got a taste of a week in jail and are like, this is inhumane. Well, I, I love I love the fact that the dude didn't even go ham on it. He just like hit him twice, no. held him down. That's it. He didn't even probably have to go to the hospital for that shit. He was just like, well, and that's honestly the sign of a really skilled martial like, artist. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. They're, go to sleep. They don't need to do 67 times. They just want to end the fight. They want to right. put you down. Right. I didn't even have to, he just I think that's even a little more humiliating he didn't even have yeah. to like he did it wasn't even a knock it was just like go to sleep go to sleep okay all right we're just gonna hang out here for a little while you and me it'll be fun at least once a day I have that little panel from preacher in my head the master race where's your fucking chin <laughs> like these fucking people they're like we're a master race we're supposed to be in charge oh my god don't hit me if you're, uh, we've learned that if, if you're going to try to fuck with an ambulance, then, then yes, people are going to come and look at you and point. You've become yeah. a spectacle. You were a weirdo. Fucking yeah. with ambulances makes you a weirdo. I, I don't know why I have to explain this. You're a weird, most people won't ever do that. You're a weirdo. Also, you're a dick. We've learned that there is no such thing as a re-repossession. That's no. just stealing. Yeah. Couldn't pay for it. It's not yours anymore. We've learned if you hit someone with your car, there's no oopsie. You're, you're going to jail. That's... We had a lot of fucking psychos in cars this week, didn't we? Dude, we? yeah. We did. Um, we've learned that... Uh, it is not a good way to reconcile your differences to smack someone with 10 pounds of ground beef. There is no situation in which that would improve a conflict. And leave the kids out of it, for God's sake, please. It might be really funny, but it's not going to improve anything. I mean, maybe if the person you're fighting with is like a really militant vegan... But still, wow, just make I just yourself got, I just got flashbacks to Leonard Part 6. That's a deep cut. People are in the channel. Like, What's a Leonard Part? That's, wow. Okay. Um, you did, Don't even worry about it, Tara. It's, it's, it's like literally one of the worst movies ever made. Don't, don't fucking worry <laughs> about it. I'm not, I'm not kidding. It is like, whoa. But we can't even mock it online because it starred Bill Cosby. So we can't even fuck with it anymore. Yeah, yeah. And it's still terrible, though. Um, and, of course, this week we've learned <laughs> even cops are the worst criminals. Somehow. Like, damn. How, you're a cop. You have all that training. You know the procedures. You could, it, literally, the, the, if I'm thinking of anyone in the world who could get away with up to and including fucking murder, it would be a cop, right? And yet here your ass is in the fucking target and you can't even get away with stealing Pokemon cards. You do get away with murder, just not... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, just, you can't... How? Just bless your heart. Jesus Christ. Like, I bet if you even go to the union and be like, they'll be like, excuse I'm... Don't you did talk. what now? Don't talk to us. Don't, don't no. Don't talk to us. Yeah. Like, don't, we have like three people over here who beat up teenagers. We, we'll, we'll help them. You fuck off. 